I know you guys been waiting. <laughs> new trailer for Borrow to Shinobi. No, to Borrow to Shinobi Strike. I have been saying for the longest time, we need new anything. Okay, and we got it. Now, I'm kind of in between if I'm excited or if I'm not. Normally, after I see trailers that have a lot of effort put into it, because I edit, right? When I see effort going into a trailer alone, it gets me revitalized into liking something because, you know, I like to see what they do to get the hypes up. You know, the value of the editing that goes. These are things that don't matter. The game, the game, right? Naruto. Now, I have some predictions what I think is going to happen. I think it's definitely going to just because we got the release date now and uh, these are important things you got to show off. It has to happen. But before I go into that, I. I I mean, you know, I gotta do my intro. <laughs> a lot of new things though. I got a preface that we gotta talk about with this trailer and screenshots including, so stick tuned as I do this real quick. One second. Play my shit! Wow. Trailers first. Now, real quick, I think what's gonna happen, I think what needs to happen, if anything, they got to show Baruto, Shisharada, Sh and Mitsuki in this trailer. It has to happen just because this game's about Baruto. Baruto being there, okay? We gotta see it now. We got the release date. It won't make no sense to have a fourth official trailer without the, the main, I was trying to make something rhyme there, I couldn't. This trailer is like three minutes long, so you gotta show new game modes because it, it, we don't need to see the same thing all over again in, a, in an official trailer. I know what we're gonna see already being like created characters, the costumes, cause I feel like we need to see that. And maybe game modes that we haven't seen already for a while, like the boss battle, you know, bullet sponge bitches. Let's see, I'm here for it. Let's get it. And without further ado, play it. I'm still, I'm, I'm barely sick. Like I have like a quarter bit sick left in me. Oh, we're starting off with some production to protect the ones you trust. Oh, we got older Naruto talking about the past actions of Naruto and Sasuke fighting and not the final valley. Who caught that? I did. But it's still cool they got this in there. Makes me believe there might be like some story mode in here. Just a little bit. Pass on the will of fire to the new generation. Oh, that's cool. This man looking at stuff he don't know nothing about or, or has nothing to importance. Anyway. Ugh. The online ninja action game has finally arrived. Never before seen. All right. Uh, okay. Now, I'm really interested to see if we're going to see any new characters in general, like maybe a Hajirama. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think he's in the game. Talk about that after. Okay, here we go. Credit characters. Let's see some costumes. We got the hairs. We got the face action going on. Hair color. All right. Get it out. It's already out. Ugh. Okay, we've seen this like in the scan already. All these randoms coming to the Leaf Village. Um, okay, the strongest ninjas will be chosen from the Ninja League. Okay, the Ninja League being the story mode for these four versus four battles. Form the team according to the type. Okay, attack, defense, range, heal. Next! Flag battle. Okay, new game mode's coming. We got flag battle. I already know about this. And there's another one. Base battle, I think. Boom, I'm fucking mm. fight against each other for specific areas in base battle. That sounds all right. We need another combat battle. Last season was a combat battle, but this is new. Oh, so we just fight. That's what I'm talking about. There's no pitfalls in that map either. That's what I'm talking about. The most important thing for ninja is teamwork, okay? How to think ahead of maps and juice them work together with friends. Bet, I don't have no friends, so I don't know about that one, y'all. I do have friends, but. Cool, cool, cool. You, oh, you got expansion juice? Who saw that in the bag? What the fuck? It can happen if the man is struggling to believe it. I'm just saying, I Cool. All right, ninjas around the world. Hidden Leaf Village, the hub world. Show me. Oh, they got a little poster in the back. Cool. Um, I don't think we're gonna see any more new bits of this that we already didn't see already. For example, VR training, Kakashi training. Ooh, missions. We already seen this. Like I said, we're gonna have to see this a little bit. The the bullet sponge bitches. All right. It's not really interesting to me because you can't play as them yourself. Would be nice. Ninja tool shop. Okay, trading scrolls from. Uh, you got like a loot crate system with like how you get enemy uh, uh, costumes and shit. All right. Oh, got Oh, we got the old Shikamaru outfit. Who got that? Last season, you two learned from. Okay, so you got the master system that's like Xenoverse. Okay, you learn from Naruto to get those. Got it. Rasei gun. All right. Cool. Next. Learn various ninjutsu. Here comes Naruto. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. But oh, oh. Wait, is this? Is this OST that's already being used in Boruto? Yeah. I, I haven't caught up for a while. Look at this! Oh shit! This OST goes in though! Checkmate with this! Chelsea! Oh! Alright, I'm checking with this! Okay! Okay! Oh, they got the chin rock to. I forgot what you called that. Get in! Oh! Yo! Expand Jutsu! Yo, this music though! There's nothing we haven't seen already. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Let the pickle off. Oh, is it? Is that it? Okay, a little bit more. Trailer song, signal. Oh, I remember these guys. Okay. Game. Oh, anime ending theme song got it. Oh, so this is the anime ending current song for Barto. I don't know. I've been watching Barto as of late. I mean, do you blame me? Anyways, um, damn, that's it. That's it. No. No! Well, it's not actually it. There's a lot of new news that I, it wasn't in this trailer. Like, for instance, we got a collector's edition. Father and son edition. Can't relate to it. I probably won't be getting it because I can't relate to that. Anyways, it looks kind of cool. Um, we got, oh, what is this? Hold on a second. Season pass. I hope it's free. It's probably not going to be. They don't want to copy the Fortnite system. It hurts my heart. This outfit looks amazing. Got the Sage Mode thing going on with the toes. That's great. Only thing that's sad is either those toes are dead or plushy. And that kind of rubs me the wrong way. We got nine DLC packs. All right. Now, this is a game theory that some of you guys might rock with and might get somewhat excited about the spine of this looks very similar to naruto storm 4 and general all, all those from what i remember right i could be wrong if i'm wrong correct me right away but what i remember it looked like this okay now you remember when they got a main naruto storm game you had like naruto storm 1 2 and 3 and 4 in between you had like the in between games like generations revolutions and then and then we didn't have one. Oh wait do we shinobi striker and then after this we're gonna get storm fight it's not gonna happen but case looks great though i mean i don't think i could have asked for a better case for this game. august 31st great i think it's a week after my hero drops which i already stated i'm sure this part's a little bit confusing to me a little bit you got the costume for a pre-order for the seventh okage which i don't know why they didn't give you this in the game already if anything it would have been more cool to have the hokage outfit as a pre-order the, the you know the actual robe and shit not this bit i don't care for this part of it but then early access pain master character now this is weird to me. Why is he early access? Like, why is he gonna be overpowered? Why don't just drop him in the game? Like, why have him, why have a mastered character that has a lot of content for your gimmick being created characters, something that's locked behind a pre-order bonus wall? Like, that doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. Now I have some game theory thoughts after watching that. I feel like what if they took a little bit consideration into the lack of story that people were asking or complaining about? Cause like I said, there was a big movement about people not getting the story mode. What if they're gonna have like story bits based on percentages that you get into this this ninja league system then when you get to a certain point you get a cutscene maybe that cutscene could suffice for somewhat of a story i don't know i just know this naruto the sasuke little intro thing seems to be wasted if it's not going to be used in like some main game plot of some sort now i don't think if there is going to be some type of story type of setting anything it's going to be too deep but it might be something just kind of in between that kind of makes people a little bit okay to to play this game like because people want story apparently so may maybe having just a little bit of something is just enough to kind of quench the angers for some people i don't know just a thought i'm also curious if one of these dlc packs could include a story mode do, do you even want that at this point like with what we've seen so far in this trailer this game looks so suited just to play your friends like this looks cool i guess like with your bullet punching sponging the, the dude but it's 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 not this and this is what the selling point is. So maybe you should play like Storm 4 story mode or something. Like I still stress that this should be a thing. Free DLC. Fortnite's doing it. Look, well, look where they're at. Now this game ain't gonna be no Fortnite already because it's a paid price to buy it. Like games need to stop dropping half-ass games. Like if you have a vision for this, right? If you really care about it, I know money makes the world go around, but give us some shit free and then let us get the option of paying other things that we want to look cool, like on our character. Please! Think about us, all right? We don't want to be paying for shit over and over that we get in other games off the start. Now, I say that because I do believe that Hashirama and Madara aren't going to be in this game at launch. And what I do think is going to happen, which I'm not a fan of at all, I think they're going to be behind one of these DLC paywalls. You know we like these characters, and then you lock them behind a wall that you know we're going to pay for. It's kind of manipulative, you know, to me personally, and I'm going to do it, so I got it. But, like, why are you doing it? You know, have some morale. I feel I feel Sage Mode Moderator being locked behind that paywall. I feel Moderator Regular being locked behind it. And I, it only makes sense too, because Barlton doesn't have too many characters like that are new coming through. So I mean, yeah, you could throw some of like the original Jonin Ginning, excuse me, cast in there for these DLC, but like it ain't gonna be as strong as like Kaga, Kaguya, excuse me, a Madara. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. This was actually a really good trailer, and this was a lot better than I thought it was. I do believe this game gonna live maybe a month or two, hopefully two. But nevertheless, if I'm able to play a new build, which I think might be coming with E3, I'll let you know, and I will do. You know what I'm saying? 
yeah, I'm gonna do it if I can. And yeah, let me know what you think once again, and I'm gonna go rewatch this a little bit and see if there's anything I missed.